Sydney Cornea Clinic is a specialty boutique ophthalmologist practice with our emphasis on a positive individual experience. Whether to restore vision from cataracts or to help eliminate glasses through LASIK surgery, our mission statement is to restore your vision. Sydney Cornea Clinic is excited to present the Zeiss Fissure Max third generation keyhole LASIK surgery. At Sydney Cornea Clinic, we are happy to offer free LASIK screening for all prospective patients at your convenience with one of our very experienced LASIK consultants. Dr. John Malesh, a world-renowned corneal and LASIK surgeon, will explain this new procedure. So SMILE is the latest innovation in laser vision correction. It is keyhole LASIK surgery. So with SMILE, a small incision of about three millimetres in size is made into the cornea, which is the front window of the eye. Through this small incision, a small piece of corneal tissue is removed, and this changes the shape of the eye which allows you to focus more clearly. SMILE stands for Small Incision Lenticule Extraction. The lenticule is the small piece of tissue which is removed from the cornea, and this is the way that SMILE differs from previous types of laser vision correction. The SMILE Procedure. In a single step, the Visiomax femtosecond laser creates a thin lenticule and a small axis measuring less than four millimeters in the intact cornea. The surgeon removes the lenticule through the small incision. There is minimal disruption to the biomechanics of the cornea. No flap needs to be cut. The minimally invasive removal of the lenticule changes the shape of the cornea, correcting the refractive error of the eye. Smile is different because of the small size of the incision, which means that there is no flap created as there is with LASIK surgery. When you have a LASIK procedure, a flap is created which is lifted out of the way and a second laser is used to change the shape of the eye. With smile surgery, because the incision is so small, uh, there is no flap created, which leaves the eye in a stronger position after the surgery. It also means that there is less problem with dry eye after smile surgery as compared to LASIK surgery. The people who are suitable for smile are those who are short-sighted and those who have astigmatism or a combination of both. Smile has a number of advantages over LASIK. LASIK is an excellent procedure which has excellent results and an excellent track record. Having said that, Smile is the latest version of laser vision correction. The eye is stronger after Smile than after LASIK and there is no flap to dislodge after Smile surgery. There is also a reduction in the aberrations in vision with SMILE as compared to LASIK. Aberrations are imperfections in your vision. The most common aberrations that are noted are at nighttime, such as halos around traffic lights or headlights. People notice that their night vision is better after SMILE than after LASIK surgery. The recovery time after SMILE surgery is shorter than it is with LASIK. With LASIK, I recommend that there is no swimming for one month after surgery. With SMILE, you are able to swim and wear makeup after three days. All types of laser vision correction have some degree of risk. The risk of a serious sight-threatening problem with SMILE or with any form of laser vision correction is rare at less than one in 5,000 cases. Some of the risks that can occur include infection, scarring, and during the procedure, there can be what is called suction loss. And if this occurs during the procedure, we sometimes need to perform an alternate type of laser vision correction. Not everybody is suitable for smile surgery. If you aren't suitable for smile, you may be suitable for either LASIK or PRK. LASIK is the most commonly performed laser vision correction procedure, which has been performed successfully for more than 10 years. The LASIK procedure involves two steps. The first step is creating a flap in the cornea, and at Sydney Cornea Clinic, we perform this with a laser. There is no blade involved. The second step of the procedure is using the second laser, which changes the shape of the cornea to reflect the prescription that you wear normally in your glasses or in your contact lenses. Dry eye is very common after LASIK, and most people who have LASIK require lubricating eye drops for a period of time after their surgery. Most people don't require lubricating drops on a permanent basis if they didn't require them before, although occasionally people do find that their eyes are permanently more dry than they were before the procedure. With any form of laser vision correction, there is a chance that the correction will be either over or under corrected slightly after surgery. If this occurs, we perform an enhancement procedure, usually between three and six months after the original procedure, to fine tune the original prescription. The risk of requiring an enhancement is higher if your prescription to start with is higher. The recovery time after LASIK is relatively short. Most people see very well the next day after LASIK surgery. Most people can drive the next day. There are some restrictions in terms of activities after LASIK, and in particular, no swimming or eye makeup for one month after the surgery. 
In some circumstances, neither LASIK nor SMILE are suitable for you. In this circumstance, you may be suitable for PRK. PRK is known by a number of different names, including laser surface ablation and ASLA, A-S-L-A. PRK and all of those other names refer to the same procedure where we laser directly onto the front surface of the eye and make no flap in the cornea and don't remove tissue from the inside of the cornea as we do with SMILE. PRK is suitable for people who have thinner corneas or who have other diseases which make them unsuitable for LASIK or SMILE surgery. PRK is more uncomfortable than other forms of laser vision correction such as LASIK or SMILE, but it is nowhere near as uncomfortable as it has been in the past. PRK is now performed with a no-touch technique. What this means is that the laser performs the entire procedure, including the removal of the epithelium or skin layer from the eye. This makes the recovery period more rapid, reduces the risk of infection, and makes the eye more comfortable. We also insert contact lenses into the eye for three days after the surgery, and this helps to reduce the discomfort from the surgery. PRK does have a longer recovery period than LASIK or SMILE. The first week after PRK, the vision is relatively blurry. Most people are able to function quite normally after one week from PRK surgery, although the recovery is not complete for several months. Sydney Cornea Clinic offers financing for laser vision correction. While making the decision to have an eye operation may be daunting, rest assured that at Sydney Cornea Clinic you are in the safest of hands. In order to make it even easier, we have the option of offering finance to our patients so that the barriers to great vision and a fantastic experience are even lower. If you'd like to take up the offer of finance, please ask us for a MediCredit brochure.